Good evening. Imagine that you are addressing a forum of parents to talk about corporal punishment in school. And this is something the majority of the people in the audience opposes. To avoid offending the audience or take, talking over their heads, public speakers need to know where their audience stands and what their level of expertise is in the field that you're talking about. I made the mistake of talking over an audience's head, and I've also even offended an audience talking about something in which I didn't know where they stood. There are three steps to connecting to, to your audience. Using a questionnaire, using different types of questions, and then adapting to the audience. Now I'm going to introduce my, a chemistry major at UAlbany, to talk about using a questionnaire. Me? Hi, my name is Lee. Today I'm, go I'm going to talk to you about the importance of using questionnaire. As a chemistry student, I spend all of my time in the lab, so I have to ask questions all the time. Seeing in chemistry, it's really easy for you to mess up. Asking questions is an easy way for you to get information from your audience. This helps you to acquire the perceived information about your audience so you can tailor your speech accordingly. With our questionnaire, you may take a position approach to the audience or, take, or talk over their head. For example, I can talk about hydration, a PFC, high performance liquid chromatography, or fluorescent, and no one gonna have the eye. No one gonna have an idea what I'm talking about. If I see a questionnaire, I could share my, my presentation to a level appropriate to my audience so that they have an idea about my presentation. There are three types of questionnaire that you can use to ask your audience. Please build a certificate financial planner to talk to you about them. Bill. Okay, so there are three different types of questions you can ask your audience to get more information. The first is called a fixed alternative question, and that could be, for instance, yes, no, or not sure is the answer, possible answers. Next are scale questions. So a scale question can be, for instance, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you feel about a particular topic? And finally, there are, are open-ended questions, and an open-ended question might be something like, how do you feel about corporal punishment in school? without a yes or a no or a scale. Uh, so these are the three different types of questions you can use to get information about your audience. And here is Herbert, a competitive retailer, to brief you on audience adaptation. Herbert? Being in a competitive retail environment often is necessary to adjust to your consumer verbal gestures and feedback to offer the ideal product of their taste and win the sale. Just as my sale encounters, the main purpose of a speech is to connect with your audience and to effectively do so, you must analyze and adapt to the audience. For example, suppose you're giving a speech and as you're providing long, boring facts about the statistics of the marriage rate in the United States over the last decade. You notice that the audience starts to lose eye contact, stop nodding as they previously were, and start fidgeting in their seat and talking to each other. At this point, you need to adapt to your audience to regain their attention. You can do this by asking a question or by restating your main point. While this is a perfect example of adapting during the speech, a good way to adapt before the speech is to know the interest knowledge level of your audience with respect to your topic. As previously discussed, you can acquire this information through the use of a questionnaire. Perhaps you're given a speech on global warming. Maybe it's something that your audience have in-depth knowledge on and interest on. So you should need to go more in-depth. And this is a perfect way of adapting to your audience after the speech. Perhaps they have in-depth questions that you need to prepare yourself for responding appropriately and accurately. I trust that you can now see that adapting to the audience is important. The aim of any speech is to connect with your audience. To allow maximum connection with your audience, a speaker must learn about and adapt to the audience. In doing so, a speaker must use a questionnaire, ask questions, and adapt to the audience. Audience connection equals perfection. You don't want to be that person that gives a speech where no one acquires any knowledge or information. 
You don't want to give a speech where you prepare for months with sleepless nights and hours of practice and you completely lose your audience attention. Follow these steps of using a questionnaire, asking questions, and adapting to your audience, and you can guarantee that awesome speech. Connection is perfection. Thank you.